Good morning or good afternoon. Today is the first day of class for you as, you know, the moment that you open the site for the first time is your first day of class. So what I would like you to do as I am talking to follow the mouse and to figure out, to navigate with me um, how, where are the different parts of the course that I would like you to um, know and use to, through the semester. It's important to know how to find things here. So I'm going to do this now, which is uh, this side of the screen is a menu, and home indicates this is a home page. When I refer to the Canvas home page for the course, this is the page that I'm talking about. And I refer to this in a lot of the writing instructions that I prepare for you. Now, the first thing, if you already have followed the first line of instructions, you have opened this link and you're listening to my comments and, the intro and also you're reading the introduction. Um, this just simply tells you about how the course is aligned to the uh, program, the, uh, the communications department program and, and the learning outcomes. Uh, the course syllables can be downloaded here you just click the, the link, it, it will download a copy of the syllabus so you can print a hard copy. I recommend you do that so you don't have to log in every time that you want to consult the syllabus. And this a little icon, if you click, it will open, it will open a small window where you could also um, access the syllabus in this area will give you the rest of the material. So I'm not going to spend much time going over the details of the syllabus, but just to indicate to you where you can find this. So any active link that you see contains important information, and that's the first thing that I want you to remember. Now, the next uh, uh, tab in the menu is the assignments. It's for the assignments. And you have all your assignments here listed in order and uh, also over here in the second column you have the due dates uh, it, when it's available is the first date and the second is when it's due there's always a well I, I, sometimes it's, it, I don't want you to think about you have a 24-hour grace period uh, but go for this particular date it will so it will eliminate a lot of uh, headaches for you so uh, and the next one, okay, so we are now discussing the, the discussion section on, in, under the menu. And uh, I want to bring your attention to the uh, due dates. The, this is supposed to be in order. They are follow the order by numbers. Um, the first assignment is discussion, num discussion question number one. So the due date for that one is September 9th. And if you click on the discussion question one link, it will give you the instructions on how to do it. The first uh, section tells you what it should be in your paper. Uh, because these five elements are part of the rubric that I use in grading your paper. So you know exactly what to do or how to do it. If you have any additional questions, please call me and contact me or post it in a discussion, discussion pin that, uh, in, and then I will answer that for everybody. Here is the assignment for discussion one. Uh, and specifically, it tells you what to do in a, and it picks from one of the concepts in the textbook. In this case, is that uh, identify one of your most basic background beliefs a secular one, you know, of a general nature, because as that textbook is, and, and that section refers to, this is one of the areas in our the elements of thinking that bears an incredible responsibility, incredible sometimes for us, in how we organize our thinking. So it's important that we know where we're coming from in our background beliefs, but the secular ones, we're not talking about you 
personal leaps of faith. This is important. So when I have a chance to discuss this more in detail. So I just wanted to give you a sense of where to find things. So if you go back to the discussions tab, and I'm just going to show you one more, and that will be the instructions for comments on discussion one. And again, it tells you what the purpose is. I want you to be able to focus on uh, identifying fallacies and arguments, analyzing the role of language, and understand how using intellectual standards and your thinking can help in development intellectual traits and virtues. But um, that's part of our next discussion, this, these three areas. So, and I don't put in too much emphasis at this point on identifying fallacies and arguments, but uh, because we have not discussed them and they are in chapters three, four, and five of the textbook. But I uh, want you to start thinking about what these things are, and this will be repetitive. These are repetitive elements in, our, in the comments that I want you to submit, and what to look for in the answers given to the same questions, actually, that you are answering. Now, to submit your comments, yeah, you click here, and a window opens where you could type in. My recommendation in this area is that you uh, type your um, comments in a separate file, a Word file, for example, uh, save it, put it in, and then cut and paste from there uh, in here. This is where it belongs, in the comments section. Although you have a similar window under the uh, answer to discussion questions, uh, and you can put them there if you want, but if you do not put the comments here, I will not get them in the, uh, when I am grading, and then they get misplaced. So this is important for you to remember. So after you enter it, you have copy <clears throat> from your separate file that is saved in a, in, a, in a place where you could find it, and you have cut and then paste in here, and then post your reply. Okay? You will not see the rest of the comments or the comments made on your own discussion, answer to discussion one, until you post and you, uh, and you click and make it active. If you have any questions, again, please let me know soon. Okay, now we go to the next call, uh, the next, next section in this menu. And the next section are the grades. You're going to have a list of all the assignments and uh, all the, the points that are possible for the assignment and your score. Each assignment has a rubric. And the rubric can be fine uh, after you post your, well, actually, before you post your, uh, your, your, uh, your work. And let me show you where they are. So when you open one of the assignments, and you go up to this little box over here, and it says show rubric. And you open it, and then it's a rubric that I use to grade your paper. Okay, and you see that it reflects a lot of, not a lot, but uh, these elements here in this section. Okay, so before you prepare your assignment, read this, and then also go to the rubric. And I will have comments here on each section of why that, that I give, why I gave you the points I did. So you click here and it goes away. So let's go back to the people. It will show you who's in the class. You could, you know, see their pictures. Some don't have pictures, but it'll be fine if all of you have pictures so we could uh, get to know you. And, uh, and if we see you on campus, we could say hello. Now, the next page is, of course, pages, where this comes from. Now. I need to tell you about this one because if you if you click it to see the pages where the different materials are available, then you have to open this window, this little tab, blue tab up here, view all pages. And then the first discussion that I want to have with you, analyzing elements of that, that also contains a, a video. We'll go back to pages. background material and class discussion. Uh, this will have different types of things that I want you to show you from time to time. I don't have much right now, 
but this, uh, this will be material related to the questions that you have. Class resources is important because um, I post things, material that it will uh, help you review. For example, each one of these um, uh, PowerPoint uh, summaries of each chapter that I use in my lectures. But it will help you, for you, it will be helpful to um, see an outline of that chapters. It will usually, students report to me that they help, they help them uh, review for the test. So there they are. So I hope you find it useful. And then there are the answers to exercises not in the textbook. I will be assigning some questions from all some of the discussion questions come from the textbook. And the textbook has some answers at the uh, end of the chapter, but some don't. So I list, I'm listing here the ones that are not in the chapter. But all of them are there, but also I will emphasize the ones that are not in, in, the, in the textbook for each chapter. And then, of course, here's the syllabus. I'm going to the next section. Uh, it's, it's a replication in a way of uh, the first page, but only about the syllabus with a list of, again, all the assignments and you could access uh, the syllabus here and on this um, icon. And if you could click to each one of these links, it will take you right to that assignment. So there's no way to get lost if you just kind of follow, follow the menu on the left side. And uh, then the quizzes, the last thing that I'm going to tell you about today, uh, are listed here. And they all, the, both of them are taken at the testing center and you will get more information on that. For those of you that are uh, taking this course out of the state or out of the Washington area online, this is an online course, you will need to um, secure a proctor to take these courses. And, uh, and here is a page that tells you exactly how to do this. Okay, you need to work with the testing center on securing your proctor. Please do, do, do this as soon as possible, like this first week. Otherwise, you are going to get late, and, and then uh, at the last minute, you will not be able to find a proctor. And I have seen very sad stories. But uh, this is something that I have no control over. It's policy. So please do um, pay attention to this part. So here it is. Um, I hope you find this helpful. And if you have any questions, please let me know. We'll revisit this from time to time. Have a great semester.